Happy Halloween, everybody. Flashy Collector here. I have a Franken hunt for you. I went to my local credit union and a local bank and got a, a mix of a bunch of different things here. Um, I picked up some $2 bills from my credit union. Um, I also picked up some half dollars from my local bank. I was able to pick up uh, three Ikes from them. I got uh, $29 of halves here in an envelope. I got an extra $10 of halves. I have $150 in $1 bills. I have two rolls of quarters. That was the limit um, for that bank. So I got $20 in quarters. And I have $100 in dollar coins here. These are the small dollar coins, not the uh, not the large dollar coins. So we're looking at like presidential dollars, Sacagawea, and uh, Susan B. Anthony, that type. Um, in the spirit of Halloween, I'm, I'm going to do a Franken hunt. I uh, would like to find hopefully some silver, um, some proofs, errors, varieties, um, really anything that I can out of these coins. And then um, with the bills, I'm looking for things like radars, repeaters, binaries, trinaries, things like that. And of course, star notes. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like group by group. So denom I'll group all the denominations together um, into, into their own separate groupings. And I will bring you in for those hunts if I have anything to share with you. So let's hope that we have lots of treats, not too many tricks in this hunt. We are going to crack into these Ikes with $3 in Ikes. And double check, these are all clad. Wow, to start off, we have a 1974 S proof. And it's got some fingerprints. But other than that, wow, that is just beautiful. All right, this is the first Ike proof that I have found. And it is a beauty. All right. A proof on the board. Next we have a 1976 Bicentennial. And this is a Variety 1. That is the kind I'm looking for. All right. Variety 1. So you see the T the in states. You know, this, it's a little bit flatter and blockier. A um, couple of blemishes there. some some damage but uh but overall pretty cool find all right and then we have a 1976 d bicentennial and this is a variety two okay so this one um uh, the t's remind me of the tennessee titan logo a little bit it's, it's a little bit pointier than than the variety one these ones aren't as rare still cool to have it but I'm I'm gonna set this one aside. It's not gonna be considered one of the one of the finds of the hunt. Let's crack into this roll of half dollars here. We have a ten dollar roll of half dollars. So we started with the ice. We had some we had some treats. No tricks in in that envelope. Let's see what what this one this roll can bring. I saw one trick there. I saw I saw a uh, a marked coin there. Um, I see a shiny one here, but these are all clad, so all appearing to be clad. Hey, we have an NIFC. 2019D. And that one's pretty nice looking. All right.
8, a 1971 S-proof. A little bit of wear on it, but we will take it. You're just two lots into this hunt, and we have some decent finds already. All right, not bad. Let's move on to the next one. We are on to an envelope of tabs that were supplied to me loose, $29 worth. And from first glance, not seeing anything. I'm just going to stack them here, and I will bring you in to show you if there are any finds. Okay, so we have five stacks of $5 and one stack of $4. So we're going to work our way right to left. We're going to see what we find. Stack one, we do have a find to start us off. We have a 1978 San Francisco Mint proof. So that is our second half dollar proof on the board. Third proof of the hunt. Stacks two and three came up empty. But stack four, I think I was sitting on something that I missed. That is brilliant, and it is a 1967, 40% silver, Kennedy half dollar. That is beautiful. It's got, it's got maybe some fingerprints on it, some smudging, but otherwise, it is just brilliant. A beautiful silver half dollar. We have silver on the board, and it is a beaut. Stack five. We have another proof. 1974 San Francisco proof. Roll six. Looks like it's all clad, but we do have something that is just striking. So we'll start with that one. We have another proof, a 1977S proof, Kennedy half dollar proof. So that makes it one, two, three, four, five. That gives us five proofs for the hunt. Four of them are half dollar proofs. Just awesome. Quick recap, this is where we're at so far. We have had quite a few cool finds already with just a short amount of time into this hunt. And we're going to move on to the dollar coins. Four rolls into our dollar coin hunt, and we found a 2006 NIFC Sacagawea. We will take it. We have a couple Susan B. Anthony's 1979s that I'm going to set aside, and I'll be checking them, uh, checking the rims on them. Roll six of the dollar coins. We have a bunch of Susan B. Anthony's, so I'm going to be checking each of these. They look like they most of them are 1979s, so I'm going to check the rims to see if we have any wide rims. Nothing in our other Susan B. Anthony roll, but we did get another roll here. It's our last roll of dollar coins, and it is all Susan B. Anthony as well. So I'm going to be checking these as well. I'll bring you in if I find anything. Nothing in the Susan B. Anthony's. So we're going to move on to the quarters. I'll bring you in if I find anything. Nothing in the quarters. So we're going to move on to $150 worth of ones. I will... Um, go with each stack, and then I'll let you know if I find anything. First stack of the ones, we had some all-mosters, so 
8646-7636. Um, it is a repeating six. Um, not really fancy enough for me to hold on to. Um, it is really worn. This one was close, 066-36306. Uh, this one is technically a trinary. It's just got three digits, so zeros, sixes, and threes. Um, it's not really fancy enough for me to be interested in holding on to it, though. And this one is a partial sequence here, so six, seven, eight, nine, so a partial ladder, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, four, nine, nine. Um, I'm not going to hold on to it. Um, I would like to get a couple more ladder numbers there um, to be interested in that one. But some people might be interested in a partial ladder. I'm not going to be holding on to it, though. Nothing in the second stack. We're going to move on to our third stack. Okay, third stack, we found my very first star note in a hunt here. So we have serial number K10213169. Two bills away from our last star note, we found another one. It's a lower serial number two, 0060573. Two star notes in one pile here. Third stack brought us some decent finds. We had two star notes and we also had an all moster. So we had 772-66652. If this one would have had like a 72 um, or 66627, you know, I might be interested in keeping it. It is a it is a little bit of a repeater. It's not a trinary though. So even if it was 772 66627 or 72. I might be interested in keeping it. Not going to hold on to this one though. So I checked these out on the Star Note Lookup website, and uh, neither of them are particularly rare. Um, I am going to hold on to them though because, well, they're my first Star Notes that I've found, and you know they might carry some value eventually. So I'm going to hold on to them. We are moving on to the last grouping of this hunt. We have $248 of $2 bills. We need one more find to technically fill our board here. I hope we can uh, stumble upon one more find here. I will hunt these all as one stack, and I'll bring you in um, to let you know what I find. Our $2 bill hunt did come up with one find, serial number 01385555. That is a fancy serial number. The quad fives really sealed it at the end there. So that means that we had 12 finds, so we filled the board on this hunt. So we did not walk away from this trick-or-treat hunt empty-handed. We had tons of treats on this Franken hunt. We had two star notes for $1 bills. We found a fancy serial number for a $2 bill. We had a 1976 Eisenhower Variety 1. We had two INIFCs, one 2006 Sacagawea and one 2019 from Denver. Kennedy half dollar. We found five proofs. We have a 1971, a 1974, a 1974 Ike dollar proof, a 1977, and a 1978. So that's four proofs for half dollars, one Ike proof. And then we did find silver. It's hard to find a star of the show. This silver is brilliant though looks incredible thanks so much for checking out my franken hunt i hope you enjoyed it happy halloween everybody best of luck with your trick-or-treat excursions i hope you find plenty of treats not so many tricks if you like this video please hit that like button leave a comment and if you haven't had a chance yet please consider subscribing until next time happy hunting be good to each other and i will see you in a flash